Pep, your last home game against Spurs, you made your famous Happy Flowers speech um, and you went on to win the treble. It obviously inspired the players, but did you feel when you, before you said those things that there was a, a risk maybe the players would go, we don't want to hear that? I don't do the things for they want to hear it. Don't hear it. Listen, in, in my period here in eight times, if you can say how many good things I've, I said to them uh, publicly and privately, it's a thousand times much, much more than, than the negative things I can say. So I was incredibly honest. I felt that and I said it. Maybe because we won. If we were lose, I would not say it. But we won. The people accept everything. And that's my feeling in that moment. So I say it because I felt it. And it's not copy paste. It's not okay now in November or in December fourth. I have to say something, but the book, you know, is already written. That no, I felt it and I did it. Did it make a difference? Do you feel after? Yeah, because we won. We could believe it, but it's not the truth. We can have that, you can believe differently. There is not an uh, action you do is going to be impact. You believe in that moment, I said to them privately, publicly, and and that's all. Because we won, uh, how brilliant it was Pep. So we could do it again, and, and it didn't work. So we had that feeling that, oh, we're playing good, you know, it's nice, but we didn't have nothing inside of us. And, and our job, all the managers' job is say what really, really, really happens. Like or don't like to listen is your problem. But we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to put it in front of the mirror every single time. And, and for example, now we score, we concede four goals against Chelsea. We concede the two avoidable goals. Oh, we, are in, we, have, we have a problem. We have a problem. You can say, ah, it doesn't matter. OK, if we don't solve it, we are going to lose games. If otherwise, what do we want? Just try to win games? OK, we are going to try to solve it. Going back to that, the phrase that, you know, happy flowers team, it was such a, a sort of a, a, a strange sentence to use, happy flowers. Was, was that ever joked about in the dress? Is it ever brought up still by the players? You know, that? They, you know the, the phrase happy flowers team. <laughs> uh, I didn't say before. It comes for the, for the first interview in that moment. So, but uh, the, Listen, even, even it's not a... I would see the English quote, uh, they, they got it. You know, they understood him immediately, so that is the point. How would you describe him now? What's <laughs> well, I don't know. Let me think about it. Go on. Don't have more a quick after thing. the, more after the game, I'll tell you. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where we are right now. I don't know. I don't know. Just, uh, but when, I mean, they've just completed another comeback against, you know, two down at half time. To, um, Leipzig to, uh, on Tuesday, does that sh sort of performance give a final answer to anybody who doubted the hunger and desire to win a game would be great after winning the treble? I think we didn't play bad in the first half. Yeah, we lost some players, some balls that we got avoidable, but we didn't play much. But the goals we conceded is a uh, frontal balls. I don't fight the ball one against one to the keeper. Something wrong happened. Something wrong. I, I would say we created more chances than them even in the first half. It was quite decent game. Uh, we didn't expect to play five in the back, honestly. So they create some problems in the process, but we are used to in the same times. But yeah, after in the half time, I said, well, we're going to finish second in the group stage. If you don't, you know, make a comeback, and we know it. So it's just to be patient and score one goal, and after. Everything is going to change because we have many, many times the players they felt it. We didn't give up that it stop, but I don't have the feeling that the first guys would play a little bit. Okay, we are already top of the group. I don't have that feeling. Wow. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong, but I don't have it. Pep, um, the clubs have obviously come on an incredible journey over the last few years, and you've spoken about how the players are still hungry. How important is it that the fans remain hungry? Um, because they've seen some great times over the last 10, 12 years. Can they become complacent? Because excellence seems to be just part of this, this team now. No, I don't think so. Uh, listen, the, the, the fans I would love to, you know, first to come, it's a lot of effort. Thank you so much. Second, uh, we, we, we want they enjoy and have fun and, and have a one hour, 30 minutes in a good moment, and that depends on us. When we play good, always they are there. 
It just too sometimes. So sometimes the situation is not going well when we we were you know waiting for. So it's happened. And in the moment, it's not because the players don't want it, because they prove for how many years the consistency that your colleague spoke about is there. And in that moment, we need them. We need them. So when you are part of that, you are closer when the situation is not going well. That is a moment to do it. But of course, we won a lot. And in the future, you have to understand that maybe you have to understand in the, in the mind that this is an exception. So it's not normal to win the travel. It's not normal to win five families in six years. And had to understand that, okay, continue to enjoy, but in the bad moments is coming, this season, and next one, next one, next one. You have to be there. And I'm pretty sure you'll be there because it's a club that comes from, from main road and from being in a middle table, not fighting for the titles, and they were there all the time. I was not there, but the people talk about me. They were all the time there. So what is coming back a little down? Come on, let's go. What do you have to do to come back? There on top of the league and don't be down down for a long long time for many years and this is belongs of course the hierarchy the sport directors the managers the players especially to still be there but is it important for the players that they don't just sit back and allow themselves to be entertained that they actually become part of the the experience of of, of manchester city <laughs> yeah but so the players all want to the most important thing and I know they know it, that uh, otherwise it cannot be possible what we have done. Uh, the players always are there. Always. Even losing 0-2, still we run, still we fight in the locker room. They are, oh, what do you have to do? So I don't have that feeling. And, and I think the, 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 the people and the spectators know that. Hi, Pep. Uh, Tottenham are one of those clubs that you've had your fair share of problems against. Um, particularly away from home in the league, but also in the Champions League, obviously. Um, you have this record-breaking home form. Um, you, you, you come from clubs, uh, Barcelona and Bayern Munich, which are very intimidating home stadiums. Uh, and again, great, great um, um, winning records. Is there something special about the Etihad at the moment? And do you get a sense that when your players go out there, they just are not going to lose? No. I think one of the points we have an incredible record in the Champions League and the league in the Premier League as well. But I don't have that feeling. Maybe what don't have that feeling helps to to maintain the situation. When you believe just for the stadium, we're going to win the games uh, wrong. So last game we were close to lose it, and against uh, Liverpool it's one one. But yeah, we, we feel comfortable. That is the truth. We feel okay. We are here. We can do it in. And good momentum will come and we can generate when the situation is bad, the, the players make a step forward in that moment, maybe our supporters support us a little bit more. Uh, so, yeah, I feel comfortable. But now I'm not thinking, oh, because we play a stadium, we're going to win Spurs. It's completely the opposite. It's, well, they do something different than we used to, what you have to do to solve it. Uh, we'll struggle to make a build-up. They have the ability to make many, many good things in the process. When the ball is outside to the wingers, incredible runners for everywhere. So, yeah, we have to understand the game and after put the heart again, put our desire to, to desire if you want to be still close to Arsenal, to be at top of the league, to be there, you know. And that's happened to win games and win games. And then tomorrow, I, tomorrow after tomorrow and Sunday, I think will not be an exception. Hi, Pat. When John Stones was originally ruled out, um, you said, we're in trouble now. Since then, how do you think the team has adapted in his absence? Do you think the players have stepped up and, you know, got you out yeah, of trouble? Yeah, quite trouble? well. We need him uh, for for playing or for minutes for rotate the players. You know, uh, we need him. Yes or yes. And uh, yeah, but Manu when he played there played really really good. When uh, when for example against young boys away, Rico played good. There was really really good. So yeah, we we did quite well. Otherwise, we would not be where we are. But the news that is coming back is really, really good for us. Thank, Thank you. you guys.